salutations. I'm the Music God. This is Music God Reacts. And we're back with another reaction video. As always, if you could be so kind, please hit those buttons, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you'll always know when and if I upload these new videos. With that said, let us get into this new video. Mr. Alip Bata, once again, I've done a couple of his videos, an amazing guitarist and performer. Uh, this one, you guys have mentioned a number of times, this is his version of Another Day from Dream Theater. Being a huge Dream Theater fan, I'm eager to hear this one, to hear his take on it, and to just kind of take in what kind of cool interpretation he puts on a pretty complicated song. So, let's get into it.
crazy. Crazy. Um. Okay, not sure what it's trying to play there. <laughs> I think my computer's haunted. That's crazy. That was some of the most flawless acoustic guitar playing I have ever witnessed. His technique on that was so clean, so smooth, so amazingly effortless. It doesn't even look like he's trying. And I mean that in the context of for a song that is so technical, such as this one, most guitar players would noticeably be you know you could you could see on their face and their body motions of thinking as they're playing his is just it's second nature it's it, it's hard to describe in words i think the the way i really want to describe it but it's like it's just effortless with him it's so flawless that it's almost like it's not even a big deal to him. And I'm sure it is because you can tell he is immensely talented. My mind is blown. I'm, I got all this technical stuff I want to say about it, but that really blew my mind. The hammer-ons that he did with the tapping technique were so flawlessly done that you almost miss it if you're not paying attention to it. The breakdown on the bridge where he bends the note with the top of the guitar key or the bridge, the upper bridge, Again, a technique you don't see that often. Zach Wilde of uh, Black Label Society uses it. Uh, Billy Gibbons uses it. Uh, a few others, but it's a pretty rare technique to, you know, uh, bend notes that way. It's extremely rare to do it on the acoustic guitar. Tommy Emmanuel, I think, is the only acoustic player I know of that does it. And Tommy doesn't do it that often. Um, this is brilliant. Just on, on a whole different level than the Gary Moore, than the My Heart Must Go On, and everything else that I've seen this gentleman do this is the next level I understand many of you have said he's extremely humble he doesn't want fame he doesn't desire to be a rock star famous any of that sort and that is awesome but let me say this man is as world class of a guitar player as I've ever seen. His technique is so good that if he ever decided to make an original record, if he ever decided to seek a spot in an established band or to create a band or something of that sorts, this gentleman could easily easily be an international star there's no doubt in my mind I would go so far as to say I would probably put him among the top 10 best guitarists that I know of currently playing right up there with Steve I 
up there with Satriani, up there with Tommy Emmanuel. Um, outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. 15 out of 10 on this one. Mind blown. Thank you guys so much for sending me this one. We're going to do more. But with that said, again, I hope all is well. So be well. Treat each other with absolute kindness in this crazy world. And remember that no matter what you're going through, there's a song out there that can heal your heart. Because music heals. <laughs>